Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So, y'all, today might be a little bittersweet day, I don't know. But the TV just started playing again. But let me actually turn it on. So today might be a little bit of a sweet day because as y'all can see from the down below, today is the first day of classes for spring semester. But not only is it the first day of classes, this is my last first day of classes. So as you know, that means I'm graduating this semester. I'm actually graduating a year early, which makes it even more better. So because it's like, girl, you can make a choice. You can stay an extra year if you want to. Like, you can stay the regular time. But we are leaving up out of here early. We got to get up out of college, baby. We got to get up out of here. But um, today's first day of classes. So I'm going to take y'all along with me today. I will give y'all a little bit more info on how today's going to go, except I need to get to class. So let's go there and we'll chat later on. Hey, y'all. So now, oh my gosh, y'all know I could barely breathe and I try to walk and talk. But it's kind of after 1.30ish. Yeah, it's 1.40 right now. Just finished my last class. Of course, we got out a little bit early because it's still a busy day. But I'm on my way. Y'all can see I'm on my way too down. Because I got some stuff to pick up. So I'm going to go to Target. I'm actually going to show y'all. Hold up. All right, so I'm actually going to show y'all the Target because I don't know if I've ever showed this to y'all before. And if you don't know about this Target, baby. So I'm going to go there. Cause I have some stuff to pick up. We're gonna handle that and then we're gonna go back to the room and we're done for today, really. So then I'm gonna talk to y'all over there because I may be doing some more stuff tonight. I don't know just yet, but I need to catch my breath. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna show y'all Target once I get over there. for like the sleep spray sort of thing. I don't know if y'all seen it on TikTok with like all the people who've been spraying the Dr. Till's sleep spray. But the Dr. Till's sleep spray is sold out dang near everywhere. So I saw that Target had like something similar. So I'm looking for that. Then I wanted to make this thingy thing for tonight. So I need to try to find that as well while I'm here since I'm out the room because I don't like coming to downtown and it's too too much to be completely honest. Okay y'all so I found this spray. Here it is. It's the lavender made with pure essential oil rejuvenated and essential oil brand aromatherapy and it says um Spray will soothe your mind and comfort your spirit. Spray, shake well before use. I don't know, but this costs, it's not too, too expensive and hopefully this helps. Because I don't even know if I told you earlier, but after this little winter break, y'all, my sleep schedule is completely messed up. So it's super hard for me to go to sleep when I should be going to sleep because basically I was on a like total opposite sleeping schedule. So like when the sun coming up, that's when I'm finally going to sleep. When the sun down, going down, that's when I'm finally waking up. And that's not okay for me because I got classes I need to be up for. So I got that. I really hope this music isn't copyrighted, but I got that. And now I need to see if they have like the, the airway plugins because I looked online and I don't think they do. I think they only have Glade. But I need Airwick. Because that's what I have. But if they don't have it, I'll just wait till I go back home. But like. Well, 
you know, like they have blood. So let me not give up. Let me look around a little bit more. Like I have resales that I could use right now, but I would really appreciate using Airwick. Or like not using, I would really appreciate being able to buy some more while I'm here, you know? So I don't gotta make an extra check once I go home. But it's not looking in my favor right now. So let's get out of this aisle. I looked in that one. I love. I don't think they have it, y'all. So we're just gonna go on and try to get this food stuff while I'm here. I'm gonna insert, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna insert a little time lapse. I feel like I should still have it, but when this Target just opened over the summer, I think it was, or maybe it was like late spring semester last year, I went through because I was so excited because I love, what's this store called? I love Target. Target is my store now, mind you. I'm not like the people that love Target and shop at Target. I don't shop at Target. Target is my store where it's like, oh, I wanna burn some time. Let's go to Target, <laughs> you know? Why not burn time? Because I know when I go to Target, I'm not finna buy nothing. This stuff is expensive. What are you, what are you trying to say? So, I love Target. So when I learned that there was gonna be one here in downtown Athens, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta go. And I was so excited. I like did like a little time lapse throughout the whole store. So I'll probably insert that so y'all can see it. Because y'all, this Target is so small. But I'm telling y'all, they fit everything in here. They fit everything in here. It's so crazy how they fit everything in here. So I'm gonna insert that video so y'all can see once I get out of here. But somehow they have everything in. What's crazy because it's so small and there's not that many people who come here. Like, people do come, but they don't come because there's actually, like, a bigger actual store Target. Not too far, but when you're someone who doesn't have a car, you can't necessarily walk to that Target. So, I come here. Not a lot, but, like, if I need something and I can't wait for it, or I don't want to pay for shipping, I'll come here. Um, so, it, it does come in clutch. And because a lot of people don't come, like I was saying earlier, since a lot of people don't come, a lot of things are on sale or clearance all the time so you can find stuff for way cheaper. So I really do suggest coming here. Let me get phone with y'all. Let me figure out what I'm here to get. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm about to head out. Before I head out, I want to show y'all what I got. So we have some chips. I wanted to get Target brand, but the prices was not looking right. And I like the scoops because I'm making a dip. So my dip, I'm not sure if there's a name for it. Oh, I got these little pear, apple pears. I don't know if it's called apple pears. I hope they taste like what I think it is because we won't call it apple pears at the farmer's market we go to back home. But it says $5, but they said it was on sale for $2. And if y'all know anything about these, these are expensive. This could be $5 each. Like I have one in my room right now that's really expensive. But I got it because it's on sale. Then for the dip, I'm doing this salsa. I don't like spice, so <laughs> that's why I got the medium. And you're supposed to mix it with cream cheese or sour cream but I like doing cream cheese that's what we do at home and I got some cheddar jack cheese to go in it for that and then of course I got this spray to hopefully make me go to sleep faster at night so yeah I'm gonna head out right now and then I'll be on my way to back to the dorm and that should really pretty much be it so yeah let me head out of here so I'm currently waiting on the bus I'm out of Target before, I don't know if I told y'all, I be forgetting to tell y'all things, but, um, so I don't know if I said this in my fall semester, so the first day of class thing, but these scholarship people, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, every, dang near every semester that I've been here, this scholarship that I have received that I'm very thankful and grateful for, the people that, like, it's hard to explain, the scholarship ran through my high school, but the the person who's the person who is funding the scholarship isn't directly over like sending the funds here they sent the funds to the school i guess i think i don't know and the school basically is over making sure that the money gets to us is what i believe i am unsure of that process i don't i'm not over that type of stuff 
but dang near every semester that I've been here, the funds have been late because the way UGA does it is um, like you have to send money per semester sort of vibe. And so they send it, they have to send it fall semester and they have to send it spring semester for the money to go through. They send half of the check for the first semester. They send the other half of the check the second semester. I don't know why they just don't send the whole thing at the beginning of the semester and the school will half it up. I really don't know. But that's what they do. And so it's the first day of school, meaning that tuition, money and all that is due. And of course they have not sent it. So I sent an email to the people because I didn't see any update in my student account. I sent an email to the scholarship people last week and I was like, hey, so is there an update? Like, have y'all sent it? Just so I have confirmation before I have a, before I pick a problem with the school before I pick a problem with like the birth stars office the financial people y'all need to know from y'all have y'all sent it mind you y'all last week they did not send anything as of last week I'm like so were y'all look like what was what was gonna happen so basically of course the money is not due today so I have to go up there and check and basically I'm walking on thin ice right now so yeah tuition is due but tuition is paid for through like the government but all the fees and stuff are due soon what they told me is that if the fees and all that aren't paid today then I won't be like penalized or anything but in like two weeks I think it is someday the 20 something I have the date on my email um but if the money isn't due then they gonna drop me from classes and baby I do not have time to be dropped from classes so right now I'm walking on thin ice they did say that there's like a grace fee waiver thing that I could sign up for because I haven't used all of mine just yet so I'm not gonna use it just yet because they still have some time before the money is due but I'm just like yo I've been having these issues for forever and I did the same thing last semester where literally school's not paid for and I was walking on thin ice going to classes like hey I'm here because the money is going to get paid for through the scholarship if they just send the funds on time so yeah normal life of a college student who's on scholarships and all that sort of all that sort of stuff but luckily everything else is paid for I don't have to worry about none of that because housing is paid for I'm RA tuition paid for because I did good in high school so the government paying for that it's just really everything else it's all the extra fees which makes me not want to pay for it because it's like why am I paying all these extra fees like it really doesn't make any sense but whatever so I did that I'm waiting on the bus now and then we're gonna go to the room. I have some door decks that I made for some of the RAs over this past week. I'll probably show y'all some of them. And I plan on putting that in everybody's mailbox today. And then I don't know what else I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. But yeah, I'm waiting to get to the room right now. Ask.uga.edu and apply today. All passengers must wear a mask on the bus. So I'm back in the room to show y'all the door decks. I have four of them done right now. And when you see them, a lot of them are kind of outdated in the sense of like they're more fall themed, but it's mainly because I have this thing with myself. I don't know how to explain it, but one of the expectations of myself that I made wasn't like any of our bosses told us to, nor is it a requirement at all. But I wanted to make door decks for all the RAs once a month. Why? Because I like the whole like, you know, if you think of an RA and you sit on pinch things like that, you see the door with all the door decks on it. And I just think that's super cute. And that's what I personally want. So it's like, okay, well, if I'm gonna make sense for myself, I might as well make it for everybody else. It could be cool. So um, I missed some of the ones last semester because life got really all over the place and I really had to pull back and focus on my work and focus on stuff like that so i basically just made up for all of those and then did this month and then i'm thinking of what i'm gonna do for the next month but i haven't cut those up yet so basically i think the first one was like that halloween month so i guess in october so for that month i have little pumpkins because halloween sort of vibes in fall so i did a little pumpkins for everyone and then for november because thanksgiving i did little pies for everyone little you call this pumpkin pie or something. And then for December, and all of them go with like the theme of my board. So remember that. So these were things that were printed on my board. So in October, it was pumpkins coming in all different shapes and sizes, thinking of more like diversity wise. So that's how it was pumpkins. And then for November, it was 
themed around like Thanksgiving, sort of like foods and stuff. So that's why it's five. December was all about stress for me. So I said, do not stress, do your best sort of thing. So for December, we have pump, not pumpkins. <laughs> for December, we have donuts. And no, y'all, I'm not cutting out the circle in the middle because I don't feel like it. If the people want to cut out the circle in the middle, they can. But me personally, I'm not going to do that because it's a lot of RAs over here. And then this month, my theme is Blue's Clues. I haven't showed y'all my board. Um, I either insert a picture or I'll insert a video. I don't know. But my board this semester or this month is Blue's Clues themed. It's like got the January blues. Here are some clues. So we have little Blue's Clues, little paws. I think that's really cute. So yeah, I'm going to go put this in everyone's bowl. Not in everyone's board. I'm going to go put these in everyone's mailbox right now. And then we'll come back up here and we'll talk about the day. Finally talk about the day. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. I didn't even show y'all my outfit for today. So I have this sweater on with like little cutouts. No, I don't remember where I got this from because I've had this for a couple years now. Like I've had this since I've been in high school. So I can't remember where I got it from. But sweater. Probably the most likely Rule 21 because when I went through the little sweater phase, I was going through going to Rule 21 or Forever 21. So maybe one of those. I'm not sure. Or rainbow. One of those. Um, pants. Just some white jeggings because those are the type of pants I'm I'm comfortable in. I know these are from Walmart. I love the Walmart jackets. If I'm ever wearing jean looking pants, it's most likely from Walmart or Kohl's. And then shoes are bare paw. Why? Because <laughs> we're in college. We don't got no money for no Uggs. But um, these were actually a present a couple years ago from my parents. So I'm not sure where they got it from. Probably Kohl's or Macy's. I'm not sure. Um, hair from Bud Lace. Sensational. There's probably most likely going to be a video coming out at some point in time about this hair. But we like it so far we like it we like it but yeah but since i have y'all here i might as well talk about what else is going on today so if you don't know if you're not in tune to what's happening in georgia or sports wise and like that but not only is today the first day of school it is also the national championships for the ncaa football and i don't know if you heard but our very own bulldogs are going to be playing in the championship against alabama so um it should be a fun night tonight for sure which is really weird to me personally because i don't know maybe i'm just tripping but i feel like every other year that i've been here every other semester that i've been here the semester usually always starts on a wednesday it's always wednesday thursday friday and then like you go into actual full week of school so this is actually confusing me as to why we're starting school on a monday anyway because i don't think it's ever been that way before but hey man, man you start earlier you get out earlier that's the way that I'm trying to think about it right now. But we do have a game tonight. They're not playing here, of course. They're playing in Indianapolis, I think. I don't know. I probably said that wrong. But I don't know where they're playing, actually. I don't, I'm not big on football, to be completely honest. I'm a basketball, volleyball type person. But the game is tonight. It's an away game, so there's going to be a lot of stuff happening on campus later tonight. Am I going to be going to anything? I'm not sure, because if you don't know, um miss roro is getting she's she's coming into some different forms and i'm going home soon i don't want to um possibly pass anything on to my family or whatever so i'm not sure if i'm going to be doing anything tonight if i do of course i'm going to be wearing my mask um but yeah so stay tuned just in case i do end up doing anything tonight but that's pretty much it for today so if I'll probably check back up with y'all again later tonight, or I'll just see y'all tomorrow. So yeah. Good morning, good morning, y'all. It is the second day of the first day of classes, and I don't know about y'all, but I woke up today feeling very excited. I woke up today feeling like I'm a winner. I woke up today feeling like we just won the national championships. I don't know if y'all that here, but... UGA Bulldogs, UGA Bulldogs football team just won the national championship last night. So it's a good day. It's a great day to be a Georgia Bulldog. Ain't nothing finer in the land than a loud, obnoxious Georgia fan. If you know the lingo, you know the lingo. But I'm really excited because we just won the championship game yesterday. You already know Georgia be having, Georgia as a whole state, we be having our problems with sports. But this year, the Braves just won. UGA just won. We gonna hold out on the Falcons. I don't really know what their plan is. 
and I mean the Hawks are getting better so I don't know if it will be there yet this year but I mean they're getting better than what they used to be the team is getting a little bit better so it's a good day so today um I have one class my second class got canceled I don't know if it was because of the football game because it got canceled over the weekend I'm not really sure um but a lot of teachers did cancel class today but my teacher didn't but it's okay because I'm just going to a PE class today um I don't know if I told y'all this before during freshman year, but I already took my PE requirement for school. But to be an RA, you have to have a certain amount of credits. And I'm in my last year of school and I really only need one class to graduate, to be completely honest. So I wasn't trying to take more classes. I know like, okay, learn something else, blah, 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 whatever. But this semester is actually very busy for me. So I need classes where I can just come in and just relax and just not relax because you're going to have to do work still. But like, not have to do as much work as a content sort of class so yeah i'm going to pe today shouldn't be anything too too crazy which is why the outfit for today isn't anything crazy i'm just wearing a georgia shirt because i was like okay well we just won i should wear a little something something georgia and then i'm wearing some like yoga pants because it is still cold outside and i'm wearing my headband today because i don't know if we're gonna do anything physical i don't think so but just in case i'm not trying to have no issues with my wig sliding or anything like that <laughs> Um, but yeah, I didn't really show y'all anything of the game last night because when I was, I didn't watch the whole game because like I said, I'm not a football person. I'm not finna sit here and watch this game and I don't like football. I'm not finna sit here and put myself through that sort of pressure. So no, I wasn't watching the game the whole time. I did watch a little bit of the game before halftime and then I watched the last couple minutes of the game. But I didn't show y'all because I was on FaceTime. So yeah, but I mean, if you want to watch the game, you can watch it on ESPN or something like that. But yeah, it's been a good day. I didn't go out after that because like Miss Roro is still a really big thing. This pandemic is still real. A lot of these people, like we just started class yesterday. So a lot of these people, a lot of students here just came back from like international trips or different places. Like even one of my teachers, I don't know if I told y'all yesterday, but one of my teachers said that one of our classmates in the class isn't like wasn't gonna be present because they're currently overseas and they can't get back because of like issues with COVID in their test or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, I'm personally trying to take precautions because I may be going home very soon and I don't want to pass anything on to anybody, but I will insert some videos of like how downtown Athens was looking. We are gonna get a parade soon, probably this week. I don't know if I'll be here in town for the parade actually, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I didn't go out personally because I'm trying to stay safe and I mean, we won but it isn't worth my life or my health going out there because honestly i'm not gonna lie y'all it was giving very much riot vibes giving very much the things that the police were trying to get on black people for a couple years ago with like all the black lives matter stuff in atlanta and i just know that that wasn't a safe situation for people who look like me because a lot of people who look like me got arrested and beat and all that sort of stuff but yet you have a couple white kids do it and it's whatever. That's the truth, y'all. Like, I'm not finna sit here and kick nothing up for y'all. But I'm not talking, we're gonna get into the day for today. I only have one class, so I don't really know how much I'm finna show y'all today. I don't know how much I'm gonna be doing, but we're gonna go ahead and head to that and then we'll see what else the day brings for us. Hey y'all, so y'all see, I'm even out. Lancy just finished the first and last class of the day. It seemed pretty chill. Um, it was weight training, so it's basically just like the teacher was like, you could come to class, check in with him, check out with him, basically like do your own little workout program, or you can stay with him during the class period and do whatever workouts he has for the day, or you can sit with him and create a program that's best for like whatever goals you have. So I'm not sure what I'm doing. I might try them all, honestly, because I do have my own sort of program that I do but I don't necessarily have the time to do all the time because I get busy or honestly, social media be taking up time. Like, I just don't find the time to do my own workouts, which I need to get better at. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do my own program because at the same time, I don't know if my program works because I've done my program for some time before I've done it since like freshman year. In freshman year, I was more consistent on it and didn't see many results, so. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, or maybe I'll just try to see what he has in store, see if maybe my form or technique is wrong with stuff. And I'll probably also try to get a program from him because y'all, like I said, I'm gonna graduate and I'm not trying to drop off 
sort of thing. So if I get a program working that I can continue to do after college, that would be amazing. Um, so yeah, but really I'm excited. It seems pretty laid back. It's a 50 minute class, in and out real quick, and then you're done for the day. So I'm gonna head back to the room. Probably gonna make some eggs, and then probably gonna take a nap, not gonna lie. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on getting a video up for y'all. By the time you're seeing this, my dorm tour should be out, because it's Tuesday. Y'all know I took a break last semester from YouTube. I had videos created for y'all. I made a lot of videos. So a lot of videos that y'all will see will be outdated because I made a lot of videos, but because school took a lot out of me last semester, sorry, <laughs> because school took a lot out of me last semester, um, it was hard to find time to edit and it was hard to find time to make the thumbnails, do the description. I want to make quality videos for y'all, so it was just hard to do the back end of filming. So now over the winter break, I did spend some time getting all that together for y'all. So hopefully y'all see that dorm tour video today. I do still need to make the thumbnail and the description, but the video's already done. So I'm gonna work on that. And that's all I know that I'm gonna do today. I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna do. So I'll check back in with y'all if anything else pops up. Okay, hey y'all. So it is officially the end. I don't know if I can tell it's dark outside. But it's officially the end of day two of the first day of classes. I didn't really do much since last time I talked to y'all. Like I said, I uploaded the video, worked on the thumbnail, the description box. So my dorm tour is officially up. So if you haven't seen that video, it will be down in the description box and it will be at the end cards when this video is over. After that, I took a nap. Like I told y'all, I've been I'm really trying to work on my sleep schedule because my sleep schedule has been completely turned around. And it has failed me once again, like y'all, I probably took like three naps today. Like every time I woke up from a nap, I felt even more tired. And I tried to wake myself up, like I would get up, I would try to watch something on Netflix, something like that. And it just was not working out for me. So I don't know. Um, after I got up from my third nap of the day, I went and looked at my syllabus again, or my syllabi again. Um, and just figured out like what sort of materials I need and what textbooks I need to talk to my dad about like, okay, what are we gonna do about which books to get and all that sort of stuff and how I'm gonna get the different books. So that's what I did. And then I had to do like a name card for one of my classes, so I did that. And now I'm gonna eat some dinner. I'm not making anything. I made dinner on Saturday and I'm the type of person when I make dinner or when I make food, I make for the whole week and I'm just, I like my food and I like, when I when I like the food, I don't mind eating it for a week. Some people are into the meal prepping thing and all that, but I have no problem with it because I mean, if I like the food, I'm gonna eat it. There's no issue with that. Um, but all I have for tonight is a turkey burger and some green beans and I'm gonna eat a pear with that as well because I'm trying to get my fruits in more often this semester like how I used to freshman year, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the day. I'm gonna eat, watch some YouTube, and then start my like wind down sort of routine for the night and then go to bed because tomorrow we have to start classes again. So to anyone who has just started school again today, whether it was high school, college, whether you just went back to work again from the winter, just taking a small break from family or taking a small break with your family, um, I hope it's been a good day. I hope you all are starting off strong. It's January. We're almost done. We're almost out this guy. Hopefully this video will be up for y'all by, tom not tomorrow, but next week so y'all can see it more on time. But if y'all want to stay on the journey of me and my last semester of college, make sure that you subscribe and notification bell right now so you know when any other video comes out. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm Sealy Drew because of course I post on there way more often than you're able to see me on a more consistent basis. And remember that I love you all so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Dre, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.